Anyway, Nusrat Sisse will be in lane one for Great Britain and a couple of our very good youngsters in lanes two and three, Ailey Child and Perry Shakes Drayton. And then they've got Lashinda Demas and the Olympic champion Melaine Walker outside them. They're in lanes four and five, Sheena Tosta of USA in six, Angela Morisanu of Romania in seven and Nicole Leach of the USA on the outside. Well, in the absence of Child and Shake Drayton, who were off doing under-23 duties, it was Nusrat Sisse who won the UK Championships and uh, has run a new personal best this year, 57-1-3. Well, at those championships, Ailey Child took the silver medal. And again, she's had a great year this year, improving about a second and a half. But it was her teammate who took the goal ahead of her, and the two of them have had some real tussles this year, and no doubt they'll have another one here today. Perry Shakes Drayton, the European under-23 champion, just 20 years of age. A real prospect. Lashinda Demas won a silver medal back in 2005 at the World Championships and the American champion this year. Well, she was the clear winner of the Olympic title last year. Melaine Walker adding to the wonderful Jamaican tally at the Olympic Games. Hasn't been on top form this year. Sheena Tosta was well, a rather distant silver medalist behind Melaine Walker, second in the American Championships as well, behind Demas. So you've got two or three of the best in the world here. Angela Morisano, she was the person who Shake Straight and took the title from, the former European under-23 champion. And then Nicole Leach on the outside, former world junior medalist find herself as a bit of a target for the others here but this is a real test for the two British youngsters I said shake straight and a real talent she actually ran the 400 flat in the trials if you can remember ran a big personal best getting under 52 seconds could well be part of the 4x4 relay squad a very strong British women's 4x4 squad but she'll be looking to test herself here but against the best in the world the Olympic champion in lane five and then these two very good Americans Lashinda Demas and Sheena Toster in Lanes four and six. Harry Shake Straighten has insider Ailey Child. There she is, coached by Stuart Hogg up in Scotland. They get away safely first time. Harry Shake Straighten has started pretty quickly indeed. And uh, Malene Walker has started. Not so fast as the Lashinda Demas has already gone steaming past her. And Demas has started very, very quickly indeed. Melaine Walker being left a little bit down that back straight. And there was a mistake from Nicole Leach out in lane eight. Almost fell there, trying to get herself back into her rhythm. But at the moment, it's also the very fast starting Marasano, who's perhaps just got the lead right out in lane seven, being chased down by the two Americans. And Melaine Walker trying to go with Demas round that top end now. And Demas hurdling really well is going to come into the home straight with a good lead here. The two British youngsters a long way back at this point. But it's Demas, the American champion, who's got it all to herself at the minute. The Olympic champion left trailing in a wake. Just one hurdle to go for Demas. Clears out nicely. Walker will try and challenge, but has got no chance of catching the American. Demas wins this one in a swift time as well, 53.66. Ailey Child might have just got Perry Shake straight in the Battle of the Brits there, but that is a very, very quick time. The quickest ever that we've uh, seen. We'll just get that confirmed in terms of an all-comers record here in Britain and indeed the fastest in the world this year. So that just underlining the sort of form that Demas has been in and Walker... I said she's a little bit out of sorts. She perhaps wasn't expecting Demas to go that quick here today. Well, there was no question there, was there, about the winner, probably from about 200 out, Paul. Well, I think, Steve, it was almost before that. It was after the first flight of hurdles. She was within a whisker of Melaine Walker, the Olympic champion, and she just kept on going. Uh, credit to... Ailey Child and Perry Shakes Drake, and they didn't panic, they just ran their own race. But what a future star Lashinda Demas is. World Championship silver medalist, of course, back in 2005. We knew she was class, but she gave Melaine Walker an absolute shock there. She looked pretty strong in the home straight, too, and there's a huge spate between herself and Melaine Walker. What do you think about that, Colin? 
it was very, very nice to see that. Coming into the home straight, she was really confident in, in what she had to do there. You can see, she, even until she stuttered into that barrier, it really didn't throw her in any shape or form. I travelled down on the bus with her actually here to the track and she was very confident and looking forward to this race and now I can see exactly why, a world lead. A new stadium and all comers record for Lashinda Demas. Well that was the fastest race in this event we've ever seen here in Britain and you were part of it. What was it like for you from your perspective? Well, um... Basically, I just went out there and tried to keep my focus, and most of all, I heard well. Um, I'm actually working on my race little by little, so uh, by the time by Beijing, Berlin, I'll be able to get it right then. A lot of people are doing that. It's, a, it's an occupational hazard, I think, Beijing to Berlin, but memories of Beijing uh, must stir you on to, to great heights as you head towards Berlin. Well, um, you know what? I didn't force it. I just worked with what, how my body felt. And um, I'm not out of miss, there's still fate. And I know by Berlin, I should be ready. Got a great reception from the crowd here. Yes, yes, the Jamaican all over. I love it, it felt good. Tell me, has there been any more talk in the camp today about what's been happening back in Jamaica and the, the five positive dope tests and the, and the reasons behind it that might be some kind of supplement that you've all got to be wary of, obviously? Well, yeah, I don't really know, but whatever it is, I don't think it's anything that really bad, because. I don't know if Jamaicans doing stuff like that, but um, I don't think it's anything serious. That's good. And onwards and upwards for you towards Berlin. Well, I'm looking out to go out there and get, get a medal. That was my focus last year. I'm a little tired this year. I'm trying to make it. And I know once I get there and I'm focused and I'm ready, I know I can do it. All the best, Malai. Great to talk to you. Thank you so much. Well, there's the winner. She's looking a little tired, but she has every right to be the quickest 400 hurdles for women we've seen since, well, 1993, a long, long time ago. Well done to her. That was Sandra Farmer-Patrick. Well, I'm here with the star of the day so far, Lashinda. Congratulations on that fabulous hurdles performance and the fastest race we've ever seen in that event here in Britain. What do you feel about that? Um, I felt good coming into the race. You know, last year I ran good. I didn't have a chance to take advantage of the fast track. So this year I made sure that I came to do the work. When you're on the start line today, did you feel you had that kind of time within you? Yes, I really did. I felt very confident and, you know, real focused. And I just kept telling myself, looking towards the gold, which is in Berlin. So. And when you've beaten the Olympic champion in such emphatic fashion, confidence must be sky high for Berlin. Uh, uh, yeah, but, you know, that you're as good as your last race. So I have to keep it up. Well, if you keep with that kind of form, I'm sure you'll be right there and challenging for that goal. We wish you all the best. Thank you. Hi, London. Well, that all-comers record, just confirmation of it, was indeed uh, 53-65 in the end, not 66. Malene Walker uh, almost a second behind the Olympic champion. Um, and Sheena Toster, the other American, taking third spot. A little further down, Ailey Child, this time getting the better of Perry Shake Straight, and there's never much to choose between them, though.